It's just horrific to think that that would be someone's entertainment. A Sacramento preschool vandalized over the weekend. Now the district faces thousands of dollars in repairs. Sacramento police say three teens damaged playground equipment and school electronics at Robla Preschool. The teenagers are now in a juvenile detention center arrested for burglary. New tonight, CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is in the newsroom with details on what the district plans to do next. Macy? Well, Sharon and Tony, one educator says she doesn't understand why the items were not taken but destroyed beyond repair. Now the community preschool is looking Looking to regroup and figure out just how to replace the thousands of dollars of equipment destroyed Sunday night. We had a play area in the center. They had a little village here, and then they would go over there, and there was another set of um, little tykes houses. But when early learning director Laura Lystrup got to the school Monday morning, she saw nothing but destruction on the playground. It was smashed in pieces, strewn across the lawn. Um, in piles. They had taken adult benches and thrown them on top of it. The culprits, three teenagers who broke into Bell Avenue Elementary School through a window. They rummaged through the electronics, damaging the sound and Wi Fi systems. <laughs> then they hit the playground next door at Robla Preschool. They did an extensive amount of damage, probably about $4,000 in equipment for students that is used for play. Sacramento police responded to an alarm going off on campus. The teens fled, but using the help of a helicopter, officers tracked them down in a nearby trailer park. Are these things usable? No, they're no longer usable. These are broken. The joints have been bent, and so that doesn't allow um, a safe environment for children to play in. Mom Layla Steffens heard what the teens did Monday afternoon. Honestly, I would have made them come and clean it up. Now she's distraught, knowing her three year old daughter Madeline is playing on an empty playground. If any of the stores could step up and donate some, It'd really be helpful and amazing for the kids. But as much as she appreciates the call for support, Lystrup says Robles School District has already offered to help address the situation. Sacramento police say it's up to the DA's office to determine whether or not the three teens will be charged with burglary. As for the students, many of them have parents who work through the holidays. So for now, they'll be forced to play with a few pieces of equipment left undamaged. Yeah, just so senseless, Macy. Thanks for the update.